With elections nearing, political parties unveiled their candidates and platforms, putting voters before fresh dilemmas. Conservative Prime Minister Andoni Samara said Greeks would be heading to the polls next month with a choice between stability offered by his financial recovery program or a reckless future, as he put it, stemming from calls by the radical leftist opposition promising to tear up Greece's loan obligations with European and international creditors. Samaras claimed Greece's recent fiscal and economic achievements, such as producing primary budget and current account surpluses, as well as last week's return to the global bond markets, have left the radical leftist Syriza party without the necessary firepower to win at the ballot box next month. New Democracy's list of 42 candidates include a grab bag of politicians, lawmakers, sportsmen, journalists and people from all walks of life in what appears to be an attempt to give the Conservatives the broadest possible appeal going into the May 25 vote. A late surprise was the inclusion of TV presenter and cycling campaigner George Armidas. New Democracy is locked in a dead heat with Syriza, with both sides exchanging repeated swipes over the need for continued austerity. May's local and European parliamentary elections are considered a bellwether for upcoming national elections, which could be sped up, pundits and politicians say, depending on the outcome of the May votes. Syriza has long vowed to scrap the country's loan obligations from its first week in power. But overnight, the leftist party of Alexis Tsipras also pitched the idea of a referendum. Party officials insist the referendum would not question the country's stay in the Eurozone. Still, officials warn a no vote to EU demanded fiscal reforms would push Greece out of this European single currency. Antikarasava, Athens.